Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is go to mamp.info slash en. And that's because it's a French company. And then you're going to want to hit on download. And here you can choose your version and all of that jazz. Um, you don't want MAMP Pro. That costs you money, so you can download regular old MAMP. Uh, they just added a Windows beta, but I recommend you use WAMP if you're using Windows to so see my other video. So click download to get started. Once it's downloaded, it'll be in your downloads folder. Simply double click. And hit all the mandatory continues and agreements. Hit install. You will need root access or master access to your computer to install this, the ability to basically install any program. So hopefully you know that password. All right, we're all ready to go. We'll move this to trash because it's just the installer. And let's go to MAMP. Whoops. Uncheck that. Hit launch MAMP. And we are all set. So, uh, first thing we can do is go to preferences. And here we'll see start, stop, ports, etc. Your ports should be pretty default. Um, if not, if you have to mess with ports, you should go to the MAMP documentation about how to do that. But don't mess with this unless you're definitely sure you have to. Um, in general, the Apache port is 8888. Um, so you can change some stuff in here. I believe you could change the document root, which the root is the folder in which you're going to put your web files. Um, here it is. It's under Applications, MAMP, htdocs. I recommend you keep it the same, and I'll show you how to kind of tweak that in a second. So let's hit OK, and let's hit Start Servers. And you'll see these light up as they start their actual servers here. And then you'll actually see Open Web Start page. We can click on that. What this will do is tell you about, uh, shows you some current configurations of PHP, and MySQL. Most of these things won't matter. All that really matters is Apache for us right now, but it's good to know. Um, and you can check that stuff out. All right, let's minimize this. All right, so where is our folder for our website? What this means is no matter where you're coding your website in brackets or uh, I forget the, the other one, a bunch of different text editors. Sublime, that's what I was thinking of. Where you, where you want to go is to Applications, and then down to MAMP, not MAMP Pro, they're going to try to trick you there. HT Docs. Any web, this is your website, so if you put an index in here, it will show up on your web server. So anything you want to run when running JavaScript, etc., you've got to put it in this folder. And so what you'll notice I did is I just kind of made it a favorite up here. You can just click and drag and make it a favorite um, so that it's really easy to save to when you're saving files. You can just save your web files right in there from brackets. But anyway, that's it. It's that easy. You save your website in that folder and you'll be able to run it and view it in brackets uh, with the preview mode and also just check it out on your computer because it'll be in a server. I know this seems a little abstract right now, but it's a security issue. JavaScript is a script, it's a code, and a lot of hackers can use it to try to break into your computer. And for that reason, they don't let you just open a uh, JavaScript file, so to speak, on your computer, because if you downloaded it and open it, you could be opening up a Pandora's box of terror. So they make you run it through a server. It's kind of a pain, but not really, and it actually helps you see how servers work. All right. Thanks. Let's, I'll see you in the next lesson.